Yo, what's up YouTube? My name is Jeremy Biggers, an artist based out of Dallas, Texas. And today I wanted to talk a little bit about my process for large scale works and murals. A couple of weeks ago, I painted this mural with my best friend Hatsil. Unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to document that. It's here at a free wall here in Dallas and stuff usually doesn't last more than an hour out here sometimes. Uh, and this has been up for more than three weeks now. So I didn't want to paint over that one. I wanted to go ahead and do another piece uh, to document that process. We're gonna check that out right now. All right, so what I'm doing here is I'm putting a base coat on the wall so that I have an even, clean starting point. I'm using the Graco TC Pro sprayer. It's a cordless sprayer. I absolutely love it. Uh, you can get the same results just using a roller. I just prefer a sprayer just because it's a little bit quicker. Um, and then from there, I do a doodle grid. The doodle grid is very similar to a square grid. Uh, it just gives you a lot more points of reference. It helps with your proportions. I'll do a video later showing exactly how to do the doodle grid, but basically what you want to do is you want to take a photo and overlay it, change the opacity uh, so that you can see the grid through the image, uh, and then you just paint from there. I'm not sure exactly why this went out of focus. What are we going to do? using Montana 94 cans. I just prefer the 94 cans over any of the other cans just because I like the flow, I like how smooth they are. If you're trying to get really smooth blends, the way the paint comes out of the can makes a huge difference. Uh, for a long time, I tried to learn to spray paint. I struggled quite a bit because I wasn't using the cans that was natural to my painting style. So it's something that's just gonna take practice and figuring out what works for you and uh, what doesn't. Still learning to spray paint. It wasn't until this year when I figured out exactly, you know, the ins and outs and the nuances of using spray paint. I've always painted with acrylic, uh, but a couple of years ago I started with oil and then branched out into spray paint this year, uh, doing my first official piece in March of this year with spray paint. All right, so that's a wrap. So you guys know what to do. You like, follow, subscribe, uh, comment, do all those things. Uh, follow me on Instagram, it's Stem and Thorn, S-T-E-M-A-N-D-T-H-O-R-N. And I'll see you on the next one.